I just watched a, a preview on a movie, Saw 3D. I don't watch horror movies, but I thought, okay, I'm just going to take a peek at this one and see what this one's about. Just the trailer kind of shows you what it's all about. And it's like, you love watching other people in pain. <laughs> and it's like, now we're going to give you the pain for watching it. <laughs> it's like, how do you enjoy you know you being the one that's in pain you sit there and you love and find entertainment out of cause and pain for other people but it's like sure is a different uh, way of experiencing it when you're the one that's the target of it is it so funny is it so entertaining when the game gets turned on you when the observer is the one that finds out you're the one that is the victim in the end <laughs> it's like it is like these elites. They want to create pain and horror and terror. Ultimately, they're just creating the terror for themselves. They are the observer of the pain that they cause. And it's like, can you not see the connection there? That uh, Who's the ultimate observer? While we want to sit there and think that the elites are the ones that are in control, they are the ones that are the observers of the games that they create and the pain that they end up creating on everybody else is the pain that's going to be coming back at them they end up loving 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 pain because they have no comprehension of anything else they don't know what it's like to feel love love would be the ultimate worst thing that they could ever feel because it's not comfortable they don't know what it's like and probably you can understand this best by explaining women that do deal with abuse. We don't really understand why women don't leave abusive situations because when you treat somebody like crap from the day that they're born and then they marry into it, they get used to it. They know how to respond to it. You know, if you walk in the house every day and you get, you know, punched in the face as soon as you walk in the door, and this has been going on for years and years and years, the day you walk into that house and don't get that punch is the day that you're scared for your life. Because you don't know what's going to come up. You don't know what to anticipate. You don't know how to react because this is new to you. So it's like when you know that punch is coming, you can anticipate it. You know what to do next. You know how to survive it. It's comfortable. But when somebody shows love, it's like that will be the most scariest thing of all because you don't know how to respond to it. You don't know how to act with it. You don't. It's the most uncomfortable feeling ever, and we really don't like being uncomfortable. It's our comfort level that keeps us locked into the experiences that we have. Getting uncomfortable is not something that we do well at. But yet we need to get a little bit more uncomfortable and start realizing that love is a good thing. Not a bad thing. Just a little thought. Peace out.